For this digital art project, I'm going to demo here with Medibang Paint, which you could use any digital art program you want. You don't need a subscription for this. Here I'm just um, picking the standard canvas here without doing anything specific in that opening page. And I'm just starting here with a blank white, but I don't really want to work on a white surface. You're welcome to if you want to. You can see that there's a color selector up here at the top left, and you can pick uh, a hue in the ring on the outside of the uh, square. And then within that, you pick the value you're looking for. So the darkness or the lightness of that hue that you want. So in this case, I want something that is fairly medium, both in hue and in value. And so the first thing I started with maybe was a little bit too light, a little bit too red. So I just move my uh, cursor down a little bit to the bottom and left. So it becomes more neutral, darker and more neutral. That is to say, to decrease the saturation of my background. Up here on the top right, um, where the layer menu is, I, put, I stepped on this stack of uh, blocks. Then I pre-saved images into my photos that I wanted for this project. I knew that I was interested in having a bulldog for a head, so I added that um, clip here, and then from in there you can see there's this little dialog box next to my bulldog head, and it's in there that I'm able to rotate that head. Um, either to the left or to the right or to flip it, etc. And I can also scale it and make it bigger or smaller and move it where I'd like to on the canvas. And once I get that bulldog head set up there, um, then I can use it to uh, trace the line work for my head. Um, however, you do not need to become familiar with this particular function with uh, Medibang Paint to do yours. You can also just um, invent from your head or just have a reference next to you from either a book or a magazine or um, some other sort of digital device. So I'm just using it as a reference to sort of draw my head in. I don't really think this is cheating, um, but before I trace it in, I... Um, and after getting it positioned, I want to reduce the opacity of this bulldog head and um, do my tracing on a different layer. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go back here to layers and I'm going to um, reduce the opacity. So um, that's gonna mean that I'll be able to see the lines that I'm drawing, tracing over the head more clearly and you can see that bar there but the at the top on the right there in the layer function so now that i've done that i'm going to go to the brush tool and you can select brushes up at the top of your um your screen and then then and under brushes at the bottom you're going to find uh, brush settings and brushes so you can toggle between brushes and brush settings there so in this case, I'm changing the opacity of my brush, making it a little bit lighter and getting it the size that I want, and then uh, selecting the color from the top left. And here you can see I'm, I'm, I'm working now on a layer that's different from that background layer, and I'm just beginning to trace the lines for the first part of my character mashup. So now that I've got my head traced, I don't even need that image anymore, so I just made it disappear. And now I'm going back to find the character I used for the body. And I decided to use a silverback gorilla here with his big powerful arms and shoulders and torso. And I'm really just trying to go for a combo that's kind of unusual, making a monster that I haven't seen before. And in doing so, I do the same thing. I'm just creating a new layer, and I'm reducing the opacity of that layer, and then I'm tracing the uh, main lines and a little bit of the shading there just to get a sense of the form of this uh, sort of massive torso that I'll be using for the body. To complete my monster, I decided that I was going to go with a frode or a toad or frog legs. At least that was my initial intention. I kind of like this idea of having these big, powerful, but um, different sorts of legs relative to the powerful torso that we got from the gorilla. So again, just putting that uh, new layer in and uh, placing that image and tracing it, and then using that um, to complete the, the, the character mashup. However, not all good plans end up working out, right? So you'll see I ended up having to rework this quite a bit. 
after getting the sort of rough, simple idea of the uh, monster mashup here um, done with lines, now I want to go back in and modify it. So this, this monster in the end isn't going to look very much like it does currently because that was just a sketch to get started with. Now I can come back in and I've slightly increased the, um, the pressure here of my brush and the size of it. And I'm going back in and I'm beginning to do some shading. Now I, the reason I'm shading isn't because any of this shading is going to be sort of uh, part of the final um, drawing so much as that I'm just sort of experimenting with skin textures, sort of like that transition between the sort of fleshy face of the dog and the hairy um, the form of the gorilla and trying to you know make them go better together how am I going to do that how am I going to make that anatomy begin to connect and for me having a little bit of that kind of uh, light and dark helps to define the form and the form is sort of what I'm getting at here as I'm uh, constructing this this character and as I do so I want to depart a bit from or quite a bit really from those initial sketches and that's one of the reasons like doing that tracing really is not um, in any way sort of like just copying because it's from that basis that I'm able to begin to find something entirely new. Um, like for example, in this case, I'm extending these, these uh, sort of fleshy brows and uh, losing those uh, flappy distinctive ears and making these more bug or fish-like uh, or reptilian eyes, you might say, and um, trying to find these sort of lumpy change between the neck and the uh, shoulders of the gorilla, etc., etc. So I decided that those frog legs, like in that particular form, weren't really working for me. I wasn't getting what I wanted in my head. So I went back in and I found this image of um, goat anatomy. And, and in some ways it has this like large springiness that I, I sort of had imagined that I'd be getting from the frog. So what I'm having in my head now is some combination of this kind of like goat frog toad leg um, that I'm putting here at the bottom. And then I'm going to refine these line work, the uh, line here a bit. Um, on the legs and with that I will be done with the first part of my monster mashup. I hope you don't struggle too much. You know once you get started things just start to roll.